All right, there's not a ton of videos on YouTube about this stuff. Um, there's a handful, but I was always curious how many of them were legit. Um, I've been seeing this Sud Factory stuff advertised all over Facebook. I have um, no clue. However, I'm randomly getting their advertisements. It's a seemingly smaller company out of Hawaii. It looks like a detail shop that makes their own products at this point now. So I'm guessing this is maybe a rebrand of something else. But the only bottle that I was interested in right now to try, it was this um, water spot removal. Now this is the one for the paint, but I'm actually going to use it on the glass and see what it does. Um, as you can kind of see, I've actually already used this once, but I'm gonna show you on this side, here are the water spots on the glass. You can kind of see that I've, I've actually already wiped this down with a uh, glass cleaner. You can tell because there's it's super dusty all over the car and I've wiped the glass clean, but you can still see there's all these uh, crazy water spots all over it if it'll focus correctly. But um, it looks pretty bad. Um, I've got the windows tinted, which kind of helps. But if you look over here on the driver's side, uh, where I've already done a little bit, this stuff actually seems to work really well. You can see it's a much more of a mirror glossy finish. Now, if we get in, we can still see there's a little bit on the glass. I'm not even sure if the camera is gonna pick it up. Yeah, here we go. So you can still see there's a little bit of hazing, a little bit of fading. Um, if we come down here to the bottom where it usually collects, you can still see there's a little bit of it, but compared to the passenger side here, um, it is significantly better. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more of this glass. And since this is the stuff for the paint, I'm gonna actually use it on a couple of the paint spots. There's some uh, areas up underneath of here. Um, this car had acid rain all over it when I got it. Um, there's a few spots like around the sunroof and things like that um, that have some of those water spots on it. Um, you can kind of see there's a ton around the spoiler here. I'll actually go ahead and show probably the worst of it. So here is the section around the spoiler that I'm gonna try to use some on. Um, I've done a little bit of brake cleaner already, but it's super spot on underneath of there. Still not brake cleaner, geez. Uh, wheel acid. You can definitely see there's a bunch right here um, from where the car has been buffed. Uh, you can see the car was buffed here, but you can still see these spots here underneath of here. So I'm gonna try some of the stuff out and see how it looks. All right, so the best method that I've seen, um, there's a lot of people that are trying it on cloths and stuff like that. What I'm actually gonna do, and you definitely want gloves, um, cause this stuff is, uh, I got a little bit on my skin the first time and it's pretty gnarly. So I'm, I know that the glass stuff is a little bit less watery. So this isn't the original intention for how this is supposed to be used, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pour a little bit of this on there. Ooh, I say a little bit, I'm gonna have to clean some of that off. And then I'm just gonna take my fingers and just kind of rub it around. Again, this is really why you wanna have gloves. If you can hear that though, there's just a really kind of a grittiness to it. And I can actually feel it in my fingers. And you just kind of work it in, into the glass until it starts to feel smooth. You'll start to feel it get a little bit slick and the particles will kind of dissipate between your fingers. I'll kind of just work in this one little spot. That way I can just kind of show you how it works. So I'm gonna end up doing the rest of this, but I'll go ahead and grab this cloth right here and just kind of dry it off. Just kind of get some of this up. I'll actually go back behind it with glass cleaner. But if you can kind of see, things are already significantly better. I mean, again, right here, here's all the water spots and everything. And then right here, it's significantly better. It's almost gone all the way. So this stuff seems to work. I'm gonna try it again on the spoiler down here once I finish this whole glass, and I'll update you guys on how it does. All right, so I'm pretty happy again, especially considering this is the uh, paint water spot remover and uh, I actually was supposed to get the glass water spot remover But I figured I'd go ahead and still try it out anyway and things look a thousand times better There are still a couple spots where I noticed that maybe I didn't get uh, that great coverage with my hand Like right up here by the edges of things, but in general things are a lot more cleaner here and then if I open up the hatch here and show you underneath the spoiler you can kind of see where the water spots on the paint are much better. Now on the paint, I definitely use just the um, 
the rag, uh, I don't use my fingers or anything. I don't want to scratch the paint, but uh, it's definitely a lot thinner through there. Um, I bet a little bit of polishing compound or something like that would probably get that out the rest of the way. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the results on this stuff, especially for as quick as it is. I need to do a little bit of work on this side. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and knock out some of these spots that are around the roof and stuff like that on the car. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the product, especially for, uh, I think it's like $30, $35 per bottle, uh, which is not bad at all. So definitely give it a try.